So, what's going on? Snail here. I'm gonna take you through the new, um... Do it again. Whoa, Snail here. I'm gonna take you through my new thing, the worm rack. It's pretty cool, man. Um, so what it is is just a rack and pinion gear, gear with a with a worm on there. I couldn't really find one. Um, the only one I could find was with the servo mounted off to the side like this. And that just makes it too big of a package. Um, but this is a little continuous uh, rotation servo. Uh, it's 5 volt, but I've been running it just on 3.3 volts off this little uh, ESP32. And it works just fine. So it just clips in. There's little nubs right here. I'm just going to take you through this real quick. It, there's little nubs on both sides. So it clips and mates with these little screws right here. The screw holes right here. So you don't need to um, to worry about uh, uh, fastening it down. Um, and actually that makes it a little bit better. I and mean, you could glue it if you want, but um, check it out. So you're gonna put the, the rack in like this. Oops. Just like so. And then this just clips in. Just like this. And that's it. Oh, I cut it backwards. <laughs> so if you do that, just pull it straight out if you can. And it'll, you can clip it back out. It's no problem to pull out. You just don't want to break those clips off. And then you're going to make sure that that's lined up to go on top of the, the rack and do it right. Just like that. All right. And then I'll, I'll supply the, the Arduino code that I have. But I just did a little, create a little AP access point and then have a, a little a couple uh, buttons here. And I think they're actually uh, <laughs> wrong because reverse here makes it go forward, but it's okay. Chat GPT, what can you do? Check it out just like that. And I can just stop the loop and I can have it loop back and forth, just going. I mean, this is literally just a test code guys. But it'll go back and forth three seconds and it'll go back the other way. You know? You guys can code. It's so, you know. I mean, it's Arduino. So easy. And that's it. Um, and then a couple of other things on this. So just kind of hidden features and why it took so long to design, really, um, is that it's not all that. It's very light. Like, so because the servo motors don't have much power, as you know. Um, especially these little cheap ones. They're like a dollar. So watch when I put it on there It'll it'll give me some tension but it'll um, It won't ruin the motor and that was hard to get that spacing on there to do that. I should come back out it's doing the um, That was decently hard to get the spacing to do that with the worm gear um, But if I glue this down I can make it, you know, I, it'll, it's gonna, it's gonna end up doing much better, um, as far as that's concerned. But you could risk damaging the motor, so leaving it loose and just clipped in there, I think, is the best way. Because what that does, let me see if I can get it to focus. I'll show you. When I put my finger on it and block it, you can see it jumping. There, see it jumping a little bit. That allows the teeth to get off there, All right, so it doesn't. But it comes back in, in contact, and then it'll keep going as long as it's not too uh, heavy of a load on there. And that ended up working out really great for the servo. So, yeah, you guys go nuts. This is this is definitely the coolest one um, online that I've seen. But you can turn off lights or do anything you see in the shorts. Um, this is a really simple little thing, a little door, maybe a little door lock or, or shed, shed lock, um, case lock, things like that. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm in love with it. That's for sure. I'm going to go ahead and stop the loop. Boop. And that's it. But 
yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll include that, that Arduino code in there. Um, and yeah. Oh, one thing. So right here, I'm going to pull it back out of the clips, but this is actually to, to, um, there's one screw in here and that affixes to the front of this and you use this clip. So right here, use this and it's very easy to cut, but you're going to cut it right here to the first one, to the first hole. And almost like, you can't even see it, it's right there, that first hole and almost do like a half moon like this. So, cause there's a cavity in the, um, in this piece here, you can see it right there, that will fit that little uh, wing and that'll keep it from sliding around. Um, and you're just gonna put a dab of glue in there. That's the only um, piece that's gonna require any type of assembly in this. It's just a dab of, um, of super glue right there in the end where that, when you cut this off, and this is gonna go in uh, this way. So the lip s sticks out towards you if you're putting it in and this little wing goes down. And then on the other, from the other side, you're gonna put in the, um, the screw that comes with it. Uh, it doesn't look like this screw. It looks like, uh, well, I'll take it out of here <laughs> so you can see it. So you can see it. Um, that's just it cut off and then super glued in there. That's this cut off and super glued in there. And then, uh, but don't super glue the front just the front up here just just a dab will do you too it doesn't need much that's for sure and this goes on just like this all right and then this little screw that comes with each servo will go the smaller of them goes through that hole and then screws down and that's what keeps it from popping off in the forward direction um and that's it. It's really easy to assemble. And then you just clip it, clip it back together, clip it back in. And yeah, you're off to the races, man. It's that simple. They got a couple of screw screw holes on there to, to get it down. But this, you'll see the, the link in the description. This is a continuous uh, rotation servo. You don't want the 180, you need the 360 with continuous. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but not much. And that's it. So... Rock on. Like and subscribe to Snail. Do it. Do it.